you guys know that I, I think it was 2018. 2018 was the year, I believe, of A Quiet Place. Might have been 2019. You guys let me know in the live chat. But here's the thing. My favorite movie of the year, let's say it was 2018 that it came out. My favorite movie of the year. Not favorite genre movie, not favorite subcategory movie. My overall favorite movie of the year that it came out was A Quiet Place. That was my number one film of the year. I absolutely loved it. I was floored by it to this day. Whenever I go back and watch it, I am absolutely amazed by what they're able and what they've been able to do with a quiet place. What John Krasinski was able to handle and you guys in the live chatter of Leo Omar, uh, K major Carl, let me know was 2018. Okay, good. It was 2018. So even as I go back now and look at that, I am absolutely bewildered at how John Krasinski was able to tell so much visceral, emotional, compelling, stressful, edge of your seat storytelling with much of the movie not even having any dialogue. It was a perfect mis mixture of visuals and sound and music and acting, the performances by him, his wife Emily Blunt, the two kids were fantastic in it as well. I, I, know, I know everybody likes A Quiet Place, but I still don't think that A Quiet Place gets the credit it deserves. Anyway, that being said, of course, one of the big things then, since my favorite movie of 2018 was A Quiet Place, I have been psychotically waiting for A Quiet Place 2. Now, of course, 2020 was the year from Satan's nutsack, and it got pushed. We didn't get to see it. But now, now, ladies and gentlemen, we are close. This month, this month, we are getting A Quiet Place 2, and a brand new trailer has just dropped that they are officially titling the final trailer. And you know what's funny? Just the other day on the show, somebody wrote in and asked, hey, do you think we're going to get another trailer for A Quiet Place? And I said, I don't know, maybe. Like, I don't think they need to put out a new trailer. Maybe they just need to do a push of the trailers they already have. But they have indeed put together a new trailer, and they call it the final trailer. And I got to tell you, it was, it's a pretty damn good trailer. And this time around... Apparently, some of my colleagues have had a chance to see it because they are saying we're hearing from people from Cinema Blend. We're hearing from people like the great Eric Davis over at Fandango, a, a guy I personally know. I love his take on films. Uh, Heather Wixon, who I, I have had on a panel of mine before, a great, great horror film journalist, giving their quotes and comments, and they are giving rave reviews of A Quiet Place 2, and that's been included in with this trailer. Of course, it's not new that a trailer... Um, has what, what, what do you call it? That a trailer would have, uh, those little, uh, review quotes, right? Little review quotes. I've had my review quotes on a couple of films. Um, it's not rare to have that, but obviously this is the first time we've had it for a quiet place. And they sound good. It looks excellent. Again, we got a little bit of Jaimon Hansu in this one. That's good to see because I love Jaimon Hansu. You guys know that. But it captures everything. It starts perfectly with John Krasinski. Nothing says this is a flashback scene like showing one of the dead characters. So John Krasinski is like, what's going on? I don't know. Maybe a bomb. So we get a little bit of that. Fast forward. Just the, the visual tension. Like, who cares about stepping from sand onto some grass? But the way the camera's angled, the way we understand the way this world is built. In this trailer, when Emily Blunt with her kids are getting ready to step off the sand path onto the normal path, your stomach is in your throat. You're like, oh, oh, oh. I mean, but that's the type of world and the type of tension that they've been able to build with A Quiet Place and now into the marketing of A Quiet Place 2. And I'm telling you what, guys, I could not be more excited. I absolutely could not be more excited for this movie. The only thing that's kind of heightened it is the fact that we've had to wait so bloody long for it. Because it has been, again, a long wait going through Satan's nutsack of 2020 and what it was. And now that we're finally coming out on the other side, and I love the fact that the trailer ends with only in theaters, which is where you got to experience this movie. I mean, A Quiet Place was a movie you had to experience with that full theater and that full image. Oh, my God. It was just so great because when watching the first Quiet Place, I remember being in this packed theater and the movie's very, very quiet, right? And you could, so you could so clearly hear everybody in the theater gasping and jumping and 
It was just so much fun. Cannot wait. The end of May cannot get here fast enough. Guys, question is, did you see this Quiet Place 2 trailer? I thought it was great. What did you guys think of it? Where's your anticipation level? Listen, maybe your anticipation level for it's gone down a little bit since we've had to wait so long. Maybe it's increased your excitement for it. Wherever your excitement level is, jump on down into the comments section and let us know your thoughts. Okay, guys. 